future of the state 4-H camp has been unclear since the October fire in Halsey. Now lawmakers cast a new vision. That's where it jumped. As the fire yeah, spread, so to, did the photos. It was just heartbreaking. Situated at the Nebraska National Forest, the state 4-H camp created memories for generations. 15 years I attended the camp. My youngest son that is 12 years old uh, as was attended the camp for the last two years and I have his two name tags. Now Senator Mike Jacobson wants to rebuild what was lost in Halsey. If you're going to bring more investment to the district and create more employment uh, it starts with letting the existing investments not disappear. Jacobson has earmarked 50 million dollars for camps. 30 million for Halsey, which would be matched with $7 million raised privately. The Nebraska Community Foundation backs a proposal for a new complex with a modern lodge highlighting the Nebraska Sandhills. Having people come in there for conferences, make this more of a destination, truly an opportunity to build economic development in the area. The camp buildings were owned by the Nebraska 4-H Foundation. The foundation says cleanup will be costly as they pledge up to $2 million from insurance towards future camp opportunities. 4-H is run by Nebraska Extension, an outreach of the university, and some feel administrators have been non-committal. That's a great question, and I think definitely communication is important, and that's something that um, we look forward to con uh, continuing the conversation with the university and hoping that we have more information ex uh, out there and readily available. Sheridan Swotek is another camper turned staffer and now teaches agriculture and natural resources. While she's hopeful 4-H will be a partner going forward, she says the camp is also used by other groups. This is much bigger than just um, the university and one of their off-site locations. Uh, it's not just a 4-H camp, but the NRD uh, had a very good camp there. One supporter says there's more to preserve than nostalgia, but the legacy of a massive man-made forest in the one-of-a-kind sand hills. What that looks like remains unclear, but senators say this would provide dollars to bring back the sense of place that's been lost.